the one urgent need of the world is that it is one life which flows in all things when you wake up we look at the sky in gratitude did we ever look at the stars and see how tiny we are remember it is the same life which flows in a plant in a flower in a blade of grass in a bird and an animal in everything and when you start to see the face of the divine in everything life becomes magical truly magical then you reach that little essence of bliss inside of you which bubbles and overflows and you become an instrument of service remember this is a life which you have chosen for a great purpose and you have every right to celebrate it to the highest and man and man between humanity between two people we have to come to an understanding only then can nations come to an understanding because without all of this we will perish we are entering a new world the great broom is sweeping all the old paradigms which haven't worked everything which said it's me mine i all the young souls we understand why they are there but now it's time for us to open our hearts and really to recognize that each of us is part of this whole divine united dance of celebration which we all see around in the monsoon here in goa i saw five dogs which came up to me and honestly I see the face of God in these street dogs which come up and all they want is one moment of love one gentle look maybe one gentle touch from you and remember whoever comes to your door knocking they did not come there without a reason and be gentle with them when the ego goes the divine light flows and really you become an instrument of the divine so what are these pillars which we try to uphold it is called dharma dana daya and satya the four virtues dharma is doing the right thing and daya is being compassionate or we call it karuna and dana is charity or to share what we have we have been given everything so we can actually share it i dream of a world where there is no want a world where there is no war where every being which breathes life has enough to eat a shelter above his head and where we can live in peace with all of nature and all her beautiful manifestations cut off from this feeling of oneness when we think oh it's mine i will lose it no the more you give the more you shall receive this is the truth of life I swear stop living in fear let go of everything how long will you live in fear walking in fear of life you never live life because you're afraid of dying so there's afraid of losing your child this fear of something bad may happen to your child fear that you may lose your name your job your money how many fears you move from one fear to the other from morning to night how ridiculous is this life is celebration there's enough abundance for all of us to share if only we let go of this fear and really learn to share so how can we actually let go of this fear do you think you know all these great things really cannot be learned sometimes they have to be caught so if you have beings who really uplift you who teach you how to be without fear who show you what it is to share and care to breathe to be brave to be fearless to celebrate this oneness immediately stay with that vibration if you ask me do i have fears i know not what fear is i never knew it since i was young and i will never know it for me there is no birth there is no death i'm not afraid of anything and i want to share whatever i have with everyone whether it's an animal a bird a plant someone who's around me 
and that's the secret why every door opens to me no matter what the greatest doors of the world every person every being everything has opened because of this fearlessness where does it come from from surrender surrender to who to the divine when we understand there's something bigger than us which is actually powering this entire engine we become fearless and what use is a kitchen what use is a meal which has been cooked when you cannot share it with a hungry dog or a cow or a bird or another human so make sure we share everything we have because that's the only way in which we can become one and how can wars disappear it's time for nations to come together it's a really let us become part of this symphony this orchestra which is singing and dancing and really celebrate life because when you really recognize the oneness that is what we call the para brahman in the in, in the indian tradition that is everything from the biggest planets to the stars to the earth and rocks and leaves they all are one so really let us celebrate life remember that even in death it's entering from one room to the other and actually it's only the bodies it's like a shawl imagine the shawl i'm wearing which if i cast it off it doesn't mean i'm not there so the real i is you who's pure consciousness and you're eternal you're immortal and you're part of that universal supreme soul so let us celebrate being one and share everything we have and really shine our light and become instruments of service because you have a purpose recognize it awaken to it because the time is now thank you